Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet and welcome to my channel. Oh my god, I am so freaking excited because I got my hands on the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Lip Souffle Lip Cream Matte Lipsticks and I'm so excited. One is falling out. I'm so excited to lip swatch them for you guys so you guys can see how they look. There's nothing like supporting a brand new beauty brand owned by a woman and a Latina. I am so excited to show you guys these lip swatches. So if you're interested in seeing how these lip swatches go down using studio lighting and daylight and a bit of a wear test please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I post videos like this all the time I have a huge lip swatching playlist up here and without further ado let's get started hey guys so oh I'm so excited let's start I have absolutely nothing on my lips what I usually do especially if I'm gonna use a matte lipstick or some sort of matte lip cream like these are I usually exfoliate so I use this elf exfoliator and the flavor is mint so what I'm going to do is exfoliate for one minute and then be back. All right, so you're going to be looking like this. And then what I do is just take a corner of a paper towel, wet it, and then just remove it. And what this does, it just removes the first layer of like dry skin that you may have or pretty much that's it. And then your lips may look a little pink, but it's cool. Okay, so when I was I was gonna buy them all online, but I'm like, oh my god, it, they're expensive to buy every single one. So when I went into the store, because I literally stocked the store and was there at 11 when it opened, and when I saw these lip creams, I saw that you don't really need all of them. You can just get one of every color group, and that's pretty much what I did. These are the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, the Lip Souffle Matte cream lipsticks they retail for $20 and they come in 11 shades 12 shades I mean so I got five out of the 12 shades I thought it was 11 but it's 12 I'm gonna go in with lightest to darkest because in case there's any sort of staining or anything like that I usually like to work that way and of course I'm gonna show you here in studio lighting and in front of my window so you guys can get the full daylight effect so let's get close all right we are going to start off the shade fearless this is how the box is it's like a pretty this is the component it's a full-on matte component both sides like the cap and the bottom see that doe foot applicator oh it's different you see like it points not your typical doe foot so that's always nice usually anytime I do lip swatches I try to keep the eye look super super simple so we're not looking like we're doing too much you know like this doe foot it's really nice it's small and I like that because I have pretty small lips and I don't have a well-defined cupid's bow so small doe foots really help like shape exactly how I want my cupid's bow to be that day so let's go in Okay, so one swipe does cover a lot of surface. I didn't have to go back in. Wow, this is such a pretty color. Something I look for lip products not to do is to show a lot of texture. I have textured lips and the last thing we want is to use a product that just emphasizes it even more. So I feel like it doesn't, but we're gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'll be back to show you guys. All right, this is the shade Fearless. And in daylight, this is the shade Fearless. Guys, I completely forgot to show you guys. I started taking the lip product off and then I remembered I have to show you if there's texture, but it's okay. We have another one we're going to work with. This time for real, I'm going to show you. This is the shade Daring. I love these shade names. They're so positive. This is how it looks guys. These feel very light and moussey when you're applying it. It doesn't feel matte at all. I guess, yeah, it does feel like a cream, like the name state. This does show a lot of texture in the lips. Look. This is that it's not fully, fully dry. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry and come back. So yeah guys, this is the shade Daring. 
And in daylight, this is the shade Daring. All right, guys, so it's been, I don't know, maybe like five minutes and this is how we're looking. It didn't dry too matte. I don't know, I just don't like this color to tell you the truth, but the texture does feel the same. It does feel comfortable, it feels airy. The shade is just not, look, shades like this make your teeth look stained or yellow, but that's neither here nor there. That's just another reason why I don't like this shade, especially on my skin tone, it just doesn't work, you know? But let's move on. All right, guys, moving on. The next one is Ascend. I'm not a big pink gal, but let's see. I love this only one swipe let's get another one and see how much we could build it with the other shade I couldn't get like a full lip fill with one swipe oh my god look how pretty and I don't like pink but it's not that Barbie bright pink and those don't even look good on my skin tone but oof, I don't want to take it off Something I really like about these is that it gives you enough pigment in which you don't need a lip liner. I use lip liners every single time I wear any sort of lip product, lip gloss, lipstick, matte lips. The Dofa is perfect enough for you to shape and I don't think it would come out of the lines. But of course, we're going to do a wear test, so we're going to check all that out. And yeah, you know, let's see if it's transferable right now at this moment. It is a little bit well a lot of it but it's okay it hasn't really dried so again you know what so i'm gonna wait for it to dry again do a kiss test and see how it works out this is the shade ascend and in daylight this is the shade ascend i'm honestly stalling because i don't want to take this lipstick off yeah look it's been five minutes so it did it does transfer we can try it again when we do the wear test the longer wear test because i haven't eaten anything i haven't had my coffee so let's move on to the next all right guys next is inspire which is the red and something i like that sephora did here they stated that this red is selena's go-to red so it's, it's probably the one she's wearing on the campaigns and it's good to know just in case you want that exact red you know so it's like the orange red well the red that has the orange undertone those i feel like don't usually go too well with my skin tone but let's see I've been pretty pleasantly surprised how these shades work. So let's go. Mm, so pretty. Again, I like it. Thinking I didn't. This was only one swipe. Let's add one more. I think putting in the second layer really just emphasized and gave us the oomph we needed. All right, guys, this is the shade Inspire. And in daylight, this is the shade Inspire. All right, guys, last but not least is the shade Transform. Ooh, pretty wine shade. Well, something I'm noticing, these do stain the lips, so just beware about that because we do have a lot of staining going on. But again, I've been lip swatching now for other shades, so that usually is the cause of staining as well. If you only just use one, it probably won't stain as bad. And also my lips don't feel dry. We've just taken the life out of them because these are so, they're pretty easy to remove and they're very creamy. So that's nice. Let's move on. Again, one swipe. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Putting any sort of red lip on, it's literally like eyeliner. I literally was holding my breath. I'm going in again. I hope I didn't have lipstick on my teeth. I always start with the bottom because my bottom lip's a little bit bigger and then shape everything when I have less product. And I usually just start the shaping at the top. Oh, it's in between this one and that pink one. 
that I said I didn't like, but I like. Well, I don't like pink, but mm, pretty. All right, guys, this is the shade Transform. And in daylight, this is the shade Transform. All right, guys, this is the fifth and final lip swatch of the Rare Beauty Souffle Matte Cream Lips. And mm, so pretty. And I forgot to tell you guys, they're a weightless air whipped lip cream that hugs the lips with rich color and nourishing hydration that gives a soft velvety matte finish. That's exactly what I was trying to describe without knowing. But anyway, it does. It gives you that mousse, that velvet, that velvet, not velvet, that velvet feel. They feel pretty comfortable. You do feel it. Like right now I can feel the lip product on my lip. But is it drying? Is it like sucking all the hydration from my lips? No. Not. Right now this one's been on the lips for about three minutes. So it's drying. And this is the one I'm going to do the wear test on. Guys, I really like these. They are a little on the pricey side. Each one is $20. But you do get pigment. You do get hydration. The color range is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very inclusive. I feel like all of these shades can work with any skin tone not necessarily all of them will work with your particular skin tone for example like this one did not work for my skin tone the idea is pretty but in reality on my medium to tan skin tone it just doesn't work and it's okay you know but four out of the five worked beautifully i would buy these again i recommend them but they are on the pricey side that's why i couldn't get all 12 of them because it was just going to be very very expensive but i at least wanted to get one from each sort of color range so you guys can really see how it looks on a regular person like me with I guess regular lips I don't know <laughs> but yeah guys if I find anything out of the ordinary some sort of smearing do I have anything in my teeth no any especially smearing or how they last I'll let you guys know but I will definitely let you know during the wear test how things work out oh wait I forgot to tell you guys it's currently nine o'clock in the morning I haven't had my coffee so I'm gonna go have my coffee I'm starving I have a sandwich here that I'm gonna eat I know it's not breakfast food but that's all I got right now so i'm gonna eat show you guys the wear test right here show you guys how things go and if anything out of the ordinary happens i will definitely tell you i'm looking mainly for smearing and longevity to see how they work because you don't want a red lip and then it's like down here by the time you get a bite of your sandwich you know hey guys so i have my coffee lip did stain the straw but look we still we're still on point here and the sandwich I'm about to eat. I've had, I think, the lipsticks on for maybe like an hour now. I hope this is good. It's a messy AF. You see this? Oh, wow. Good. Mm. Of course, I decided to eat the messiest food. I'm gonna finish eating and be back. Yes, I did devour that sandwich. It was so good. So I'm just gonna drink some water, but as we can see, the lipstick will stay, but it's not matte, matte where it like dries completely down because it is a cream and a velvet finish. It's just gonna give you that. It's not gonna ever completely dry, but it's cool. I mean, the pigment was there. Just keep in mind that don't eat a big ass sandwich when you have this red lipstick on, you know? I'm still feeling the same way I felt two hours ago and okay back to the outro. I think this is it guys. Thank you so so much for stopping by. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. Please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.